Okay, I <clears throat> removed some of the water until the solution started to get cloudy, like something was coming out of solution. So I let it cool down, let it set overnight. And there are some, uh, there's some crystals, or crystalline powder in the bottom. So I'm going to try and decant that off and see what it is. I'm going to rinse that with some ice cold wa distilled water. Okay, I'm going to redissolve that in a little bit of water and then pour it out in a dish and let it evaporate slowly and see if I can get some larger crystals. Start out with just a little bit. Turn on the heating. Well, I must say those crystals are very difficult to get them to dissolve back into solution. It's, uh, as you can tell, it's uh, boiling now, and it's still not all dissolved. So I add a little more water. like to use as little as possible. I'm going to drop in a stir bar and let it chew on that for a while. Whatever that is, it certainly doesn't like to dissolve very quickly. Okay, so after adding even more water, finally got it all to dissolve. So I'll have to turn off the heating, take out the stir bar. Let it cool down and hopefully it'll all stay in solution. If not, I'll have to add more water. I can say for sure that whatever it is, it's not potassium carbonate, because I happen to know that's very soluble and easily dissolved in water. So this is something else. Okay, so here it is several days later, and I've changed my mind. After it cooled down, I noticed there were some fairly nice crystals that formed in the bottom of the beaker, so I decanted the liquid off and let the crystals that are in the beaker dry. Poured out the liquid into this dish and it has now since evaporated and left behind some nice crystals as well. So I'll be, I'll be saving these as is. Okay, so I scraped the crystals out of the dish. Here they are on this paper. I'm going to add the other crystals from the beaker.
Then I'll uh, weigh it and see how much we recovered. Twelve point two nine grams. Not a lot considering how many ashes I started with. The next step is to process the remaining liquid and see if I can uh, dry this out and get the potassium carbonate and whatever else may be present in there into a powder form. So I'm going to decant off the liquid and keep the crystals. Maybe I can just dry them out as they are. So here's the powder that I dried and removed from the beaker. I'll be adding this with the, uh, the powder that will eventually get out of the uh, electric skillet when it's dried too. This stuff is like trying to chip concrete out of there. It's very dry, rock-like. Now that I've got that ground up, I'll add the powder that I dried in the beaker. Should they're from the same uh, solution, so they should be the same. Just mix that up a little bit. So what I want to do next is weigh the powder. The answer is 66.49 grams.